Hey y'all, welcome back to Michelle, Living Life with Leticia. Today I am cleaning my oven, I'm cleaning the stove top or the glass top, and then I'm also cleaning my sink. I'm cleaning and I also got a little something special for you guys later on. So do not click off, there's something special that uh, toward the end. So, you know, all the way to this is not long today. This is just, you know, I'm just cleaning today because this is what I got to do. Hey, okay. And in the meantime, I'm always listening to music and I always got a song on my heart. So today you'll hear a little bit of uh, Donald Lawrence and the Tri-City Singers of Encourage Yourself. And we got to, we just got to. But anyway, today's um, devotion, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all of them that love his appearing. Amen. And that is 2 Timothy 4, verses 7 through 8. Paul served the Lord from the moment Jesus appeared to him on the road to Damascus until his death, beheaded by Emperor Nero. Paul wrote 2 Timothy from his jail cell shortly before his death. He knew he had to finish his course and finished well. He had suffered for the gospel and had never forsaken Jesus. Paul knew he would be rewarded for being faithful to Christ and serving him. Just as Paul did, we need to strive to live for Jesus until we reach our finish line. Keep the faith and keep moving forward in your, in your faith with Jesus. Our prayer today, Lord, you did a mighty work in Paul. It is amazing to think about his course and how he lived for you. Give me strength to stick with the course you have set for me, Lord. Never let me turn back to get distracted. I want to serve you until my death, just like Paul did. Give me faith and work through me. When I am scared to keep going, give me courage, Lord. When I doubt, Lord, have faith for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So today we are cleaning. I'm cleaning my oven. It's a self-cleaning oven, so I'm not cleaning it. But anyway, I'm doing whatever I'm going to do to it. Y'all don't need to know everything. I mean, good grief. Okay, I'm just cleaning. Don't worry about what I'm cleaning and how I'm going to clean. But anyway, I'm glad y'all are here. I wish you would tell somebody else to tell somebody else to tell somebody else that this is happening. This is happening. I know that we've had a lot of, um, you know, sadness going on. And uh, that's not what this is going to be about. I know that people are, are celebrating the um, going home of a lot of loved ones. They are, you know, grieving and mourning their losses and we are with them wherever they are, wherever they may be. I mean, we're not in their shoes and thank God that we haven't had to experience that. But as the lady said the other day, <laughs> you could be her sitting on the other side of that camera. It could be you grieving for one of your babies. It could be you that's lost a loved one or something. So. We have to be mindful and always have to stay in prayer for everyone. So, pray for me too. I got some, you know, baked on whatever this is that's around here. Then we also have my oven. I like to put, I was going to say plastic. I like to put foil paper in there. Oh, whatever it's called, y'all, you, know, you know, millennials. Oh, fall paper, what does that mean? It's fall, okay? Fall, you know what fall is? This, the stuff that you wrap stuff in. You know, tin fall, that's what they used to call it now. When I say fall paper, that's more up to date than tin fall. So I'm gonna try to clean the racks. This is a double oven, so yay for me. But look here, I gotta get down on the floor to get it. <clears throat> but this sticky mm -hmm. i stick it for some reason but anyway i don't even know what i cooked that was sticky maybe it was a pie or cake who knows but look at that it's pretty much clean and i don't have to do a lot of cleaning press 
one for upper oven. The rags, he says, okay. Don't read, I'm gonna have to start reading better because uh, I'm just looking over everything. Anyway, we're gonna go with a steam because that's number two. So we'll go with number two. Two. What you want me to do now? Open the door. 16 ounces of water. What? Oh no, we ain't gonna do no steam cleaning then. Uh 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 uh. Uh oh, no. Uh uh oh, no. I won't do that. I ain't even so. 16 ounces. How much is 16 ounces? I guess just a bottle of water. I don't know. No, I, I don't want to. I want to do precise now. I changed my mind. Again, precise, I guess they ask. And that, see how dirty that was? Okay, hold on. Let's see. What did it say? Let's read it because I, I wasn't looking. Set clean time or press start. I'm going to press start. Unlock in four hours. Good thing I don't have to put nothing in there. Look at all the stuff that I bought from Barkeeper. I have the cooktop cleaner, which goes in this. Let's get a top cleaning kit. And it comes with the Barkeeper's cooktop cleaner and the little scraper with the um, razor blade edge or whatever. You can tell this is the eye that I use all the time. I think it is just about, uh, it's got less than an hour now, 57 minutes. So we're letting that finish. I put this stuff on here. I've left it on a little bit longer than what it says. A lot longer, actually. What it says, it do now it's cleaning it. But this stuff right here, is supposed to come up. I'm trying to get all this little grime up. I don't like that. It ain't doing what it said it's gonna do it. Oh, I'm with it's gonna, I don't want it to cook it on down now. I said, yeah, I'm gonna just take it off. Cause of course I did not follow instructions. Smoking like it's uh, on fire. Ooh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Oh, here. Huh? It did, yeah. Did whatever it's supposed to do. I'm using the cooktop cleaner for the rack to see how that's going to work. Stainless steel is the first thing on here. Ceramic, tile, copper, porcelain. So basically it does it all. It says soft cleanser, removes rust, lime, stains, and tarnish. So I'm going to try it on this side first. Use Now I'm using this one, the spray. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm just using what I what I got. Hey, I got it. I'm finna use it. It says it works upside down. It don't. Not working. So, that's the clean sink. I mean, the one that I cleaned versus this one. Can I see any difference? I think so. We're fixing to clean it. Okay, so, hold on. Running up the water here. <laughs> I would give it a thumbs up on the most part. All right, so 
Um, well, I guess I'm supposed to go in there and do whatever, but it's too hot. So it did the job on the sink. Glass top cleaned. I cleaned my um, uh, salt and pepper. I cleaned the top here. I just wiped it off with soap and water. I did not put any chemicals on there. And then I cleaned the outside of all of that. And we believe. We believe, we gotta believe. All right. These are the products that I used. Today is we encouraging ourselves, we encouraging each other to keep on going and keep on moving toward our goal. Whatever your destination is, whatever your drop off point is, and whatever you plan your life to be, I pray that it happens for you and that the Lord blesses you. Um, threefold and fourfold and as much as I, I, I want to see him pour out a blessing for you and for me so much more that uh, so that we won't have room to receive hey y'all I'm going to do a song by Donald Lawrence and the Tri-City Singers called Encourage Yourself I was going to do it with karaoke music but I found out that the copyright don't let me or allow me to do so so I have um uh, a musician named Timmy Hartman and uh, he's also has a gospel station he says and I have subscribed to his channel uh, because he plays a lot of gospel music with his organ so he has graciously allowed me to record over his song it's uh, just a snippet of the song or a portion of it so I'm gonna do my best to try to not make his video Thumbs down. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Deuces. Love you. Deuces. Bye.
Stay encouraged.